Hello, everyone. Welcome to another session of Now We Learn. Today, we're going to be going through the Now We website part called Core. And today's session is called Navigating Core. As many of you know, Core is the program that we use in the background to work together with our customer service department at Now We uh, Services Group, as well as with students, other instructors, our dive centers. So there's a lot of things that we can do there. So this is important that you know where things are and how to find things. Without further ado, let's go ahead and we're going to go into core. To go into core as an instructor or dive master, you simply log in, you do the sign in, and it comes up and give you options. You can either enter by email address or by member number. So I'm going to go by member number. And of course, you need your password. I won't say that out loud. In you go. So here we are. Once you're in core, you always get a welcome message. Please take the time to read it. It is quite often this static message that you're seeing now, but um, time to time it does have a special message that comes up that we're trying to pass along. Uh, it may or may not be tied into a news blast that went out. So take the time to read this and see what's going on. On this page, you see the now we welcome. And then below it, you can see events and careers, news and updates. So go ahead and you can scroll down and you can see those and read those at your heart's content and see what's going on. Uh, there are lots of things that are there and it gives you an opportunity to know. Sometimes it's courses that you can take part in and then you don't have to wait for one in your area. Uh, sometimes it's uh, ideas that you can share and learn and use. And it could be many different things. So please take the time and see those. They're very valuable. On the top right hand part, you'll see that uh, handsome guy with the orange shirt and the ball cap. In case you didn't recognize, there you go. And that is your, in this case, my personal information. So you can go ahead and open that up. And when you do, you'll see there's messages that could be messages that we're sending back and forth to each other through Core. Uh, changing your password, you can change that on your own. You don't need to call customer service to do it. You can call customer service, but this is how you could do it yourself. You can manage your profile and then tour the page. Let's click on manage your profile. In here, there's many different things. You can see who you are, what you're doing, your credentials, et cetera, uh, designations, all kinds of things like that. Um, one thing that I do want to pass along to you is if you scroll down, you see these two parts here, it says communication preferences. Very important to check those off. Because of privacy, we don't necessarily have the ability to just say blanket, leave them on. That's just not the way privacy rules work nowadays. So when you notice the two of these, the first one says, I agree to receiving time to time marketing materials and communications. Click that. It's a really, really good idea so that you know you're going to get the most current updates that are passed along from customer service or the training department or the marketing department or something like that. All those are there for you, the dive master or instructor. They're not for the general public. So you definitely want to get a hold of those. Uh, the second one is that you agree to the terms of service, which in this case is a member locate. Again, uh, because of privacy, we definitely want to make sure that everybody has those rights. You don't have to choose these. But if people are looking on the NAWI website and they're looking for an instructor in your area and you do not have that checked off, it is not going to come up because you've not given us permission to share it. So if you want to get customers coming to you or divers coming to you or students coming to you, you definitely want to check that off so that they know that you are in that area. So go ahead and do so. Okay, there's a spot where you can type your own bio. It's up to you what you type in there. Mine's a little long-winded, there you go. And uh, you can add accomplishments and add your social media. You can click all kinds of things in there. Member tools, there's all these extra tools you can get in here. Uh, these, these are links for some of the things that are on the left anyways. Which, so I'm not going to say a lot about them because you're going to see um, all that information anyways, okay? The one and only that I really want to particularly look at is uh, replace credential card. That's your credential card. It's not certifying a student. So if you look in there, you can click on that. And once you're in there, you could actually go ahead and, and see what you can do for you. And so it's a little bit different as far as that. Um, the rest of everything were just quick links to the things that are on the left. 
So I am going to go ahead without further ado and actually just go to the left. On the left, you've got manage profile. Again, it's same profile that you had when you're on the top right hand corner where we pull down manager profile. My courses, those are courses that you have currently registered and have done through core. I'm going to click mine and you'll see there's only a few there because most of mine were pre core. So these are ones that I have done since the core system has been up and running. For instance, a course uh, on the requalification for course directors. Okay, I've done that. It shows if I had done it prior, it wouldn't have. So that's just one example. I could show you a few others. Um, in this area, you can activate an education system for yourself so that you do ongoing learning. And it's quite simple to do. It's the same as on the other side when we're managing students. So I'm gonna go and uh, show you that right now. In this case, the difference is, is it's your certifying you or actually activating for you a course. Now those courses may be just an upgrade because there's a new version of something and that's just super awesome. You're already qualified. But it could be something that you're not qualified for and you would like to be qualified. And in that case, you need to definitely attach a instructor with the qualifications or designations that would be applicable to that course. For instance, you may want to be an instructor trainer. Well, then you could activate a course director, one of many of them out there. I'm just happy to be one that could do that for you. Okay. Uh, anytime there's an education system, there's an activation code. Again, NES, NAWI education system is the activation codes. And you would get those through the store, which we'll get to a little bit later on. E-learning is the e-learning of courses that you are personally doing. Again, um, through core, if you've done it before core, it won't show up, but if it's through core, that you can, all right? So um, you can look at prior courses, completed courses, other different things like that. Um, for instance, here's a few that I had gone through and done some lead learning on. Uh, okay, so as far as that goes, it gives you a little bit of information of things that uh, your courses you could do, okay? I'm just going to scroll down really fast. You see there's a variety of ones you could participate in or not participate in based on what's going on, okay? Again, that's under my courses. They're physical ones that you're working on or have worked on in the core program. Locate dive centers. This is the same as the one for outside the system, but inside the system gives us a bit more. What I mean by outside the system is people in the general public who are at our main NAWI website can locate dive centers or locate professionals. It's just internally we have some extra features we can do. We can contact direct through core so that instructor knows it's another instructor or dive center knows it's another instructor or dive center or such and such. So it gives that ability to know inside that, yes, this is one of the team, one of the NAWI members working with a facility or on their own that's trying to communicate with another NAWI dive center. So it, it, it's a bit different because then you know, right? The outside world on the main website would just be Joe Public trying to get a hold of you. And it's a little bit of a difference, but not much. The difference really is just the way we contact, you know it's coming through Corey, it has to be a member, okay? You can locate dive professionals, it's the exact same conversation, you can locate them. Uh, noticing the map here, it's currently just showing the United States just because the way it popped up. But of course, we have Canada, we have every country in Europe, we have throughout the Pacific Rim, we have South America, the Caribbean, I could go on Australia, our good friend Nelson is the regional manager on the one side of, of Australia, and you know, there's just people all over the place you could look up and find, all right? Um, just happens to currently be showing there. Okay. Diver verification is, uh, again, this option two is on the outside public one. It's a little bit different internally because you, once you find it, can do more with it. They could just verify that the person's certified. You can verify they're certified and then what do you want to do from there? So there's, it's worth logging in every time uh, for you, the NAWI dive master or you, the NAWI instructor and working right through core rather than the main program on the external. Uh, just because of some of the things you can do post lookup on all three of these areas, the locate dive center, locate dive professional and verify that somebody's a certified scuba diver, okay? Now we store. 
again, we have a wonderful customer service. You could call them during Eastern Standard time hours of 8.30 a.m. till 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday and talk to the great people there ordering products, no problems, lots you can do. However, you may also wish to do this direct yourself. Again, this is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can go into the store. Uh, now that I'm in the store that you can order, notice that on the top left-hand corner, I do have return to core, so I can return to core anytime. I have my Naui education systems, books, training, merchandise, miscellaneous. Those are all the topics on the top, which probably speak for themselves, but we're gonna cover some of them anyway. You can do a search if you're not sure how something plays out and what category it's in. Then you also have the head, that little figure, that's yourself. If you wanna change some of your credentials. I, for instance, get everything sent to 18 Sophia Street West, Barrie, Ontario, Canada. But perhaps I may be in uh, Drummondville, Quebec, visiting my good friend, Michael, and I wanna have things shipped there. So that would be fine too. So there's lots of options there. Uh, your favorites, if there's something that you're always looking for, you know, um, I'm going to get myself the new Naui hat, but I'll wait till I'm ordering some CERT cards for students. Well, in that case, you can wait and just put this in the wish list so that you don't have to find it next time. The last one here is for actually just checking out. If you look, it's a grocery bag. You're going to put your items in a bag and go. So that's the checkout at the end. All right. Looking through here, uh, you can just scroll down and pick any item or any topics. It just randomly goes through some all the time. Lots of nice shirts and tees and different, what I call logo wear, change mats, all kinds of fun things that all have Naui on them. But you may want to look by category. For instance, under an education system, you can get our dual courses. If you're not familiar with what they are, check with your regional manager and he can fill you all in about what dual courses mean. Single courses. Just what it sounds like, leadership development, now the academic kits, you can divide it by that, right? So that's that area. Under books, it's exactly what it sounds like. You can get specialty books, textbooks for the courses, log books. Under training, there's all kinds of extra stuff you can get as far as student folders and all kinds of things like that. Again, if you're not familiar with the products themselves, I would highly recommend you talk to your regional manager. If you're in Eastern Canada, that, that's me. Give me a call or email me. Again, my email is bdoran at naui.org. If you can call me or email me and reach me through head office, or you can reach me my direct line. So there's all these items you can do. Again, merchandise is the, is the logo wear and flags and pins and cups and travel mugs and all kinds of fun things. And in core, it's like any purchase site. When you go to buy something, you click on it. For instance, if I wanted to have this button-down shirt, I could click on it. It gives you more information. You can pick a size. Once you pick the size, how do you want it shipped? You can pick it whether you want it like supersonic fast, 24 hour delivery or snail as slow as possible, as cheap as possible. Of course, faster is more expensive, slower is cheaper. And you can choose however you want to do it. And at checkout, you have to, you know, even though you're registered, we know your address, you confirm that you, your billing address, you confirm your shipping address, and then you need to put your credit card in. Uh, we do not store your credit card in the store in any way, shape, or form. It's a one-time use, external processing, and gone. Um, therefore, the liability-wise for Naui, but also protection, especially for you, the protection is that we don't have those card numbers. So you have to put it in every time. It's only a credit card. It only takes a second. And it's the same idea as most sites you'd ever travel to. I'm not going to spend tons of time going through the particular parts of the store. I'm just going to pick one particular item, single courses. Again, if you're not familiar, the best is to work with your regional manager. They can give you more specifics on courses or items in the store. When you're in the store, in case you don't know, we have our premier NES kits, premier, now the education system. Premier means you've got your traditional textbook format, papers and that kind of log book, as well as the digital side of things. Premier, so that's what it sounds like. It's premier, you get it all. You can go with the traditional paper only, or you can go with the digital NES. Digital means everything's digital, including your textbook and your e-learning and your card. Now, when you're going digital, you could get a digital where it's digital card only. 
which works with the NAWI app, which we're going to cover in our next seminar. And it also has the ability you can go digital and plastic. You can go plastic as a third option. So you choose when you're purchasing the item what you want to go straight digital, digital and plastic, or just plastic. My personal preference is I do digital and plastic because the minute you certify somebody, instantaneously it creates their certification for them. That's spectacular. And then you could have it shipped in a less expensive way, the plastic card, so that they get it within the next few weeks or week, depending on where you're located. If you're a different part of the world, it might take a little longer. But the beauty is, is they have that digital card instantaneously, which you can celebrate. If you're hitting the go button at a social post course with all your students, they can actually take out their cell phone and look at it right here, right now, like that, which is pretty spectacular. It's a really good service. So those are some options. Again, you want more information, you can contact customer service, contact your dive center that you work through. Uh, you can contact your regional manager or feel free to contact me. It doesn't matter to me if you're in Canada or you're in Mexico or you're in Germany. I'd be happy to talk to anybody and guide you through the process. Be Doran at Naui.org. Give me a contact and then we'll go from there, set up a time to talk. We can do Zoom or I can call you. You can call me, whatever the case happens to be. I prefer doing it on Zoom because then I can guide you through the process. Let's return back to CORE. You can order a card for somebody. Simple and easy. Click the button. From I did a seminar a few weeks back, and if you look at it, it's called How to Set Up a Student Account and How to Register Them for E-Learning and Certify Them. So if you look up that, you'll get a bigger description of it all, but though the next, which would cover these next couple of points. Anyway, under order a card, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. You can fill it in and you can, it looks really familiar because it's almost the same screen that came up as when you're ordering one for yourself, a requalification card or a replacement card for yourself. Uh, you got to put the name, first name, last name, date of birth in there, and you're going to indicate who it's for, et cetera, right? There's certification cards, credential cards, membership cards, okay? Excuse me. Now that's under order a card. Now we feedback, just like it sounds. And now we feedback what's going on. You can get a hold of people in training. You can phone somebody. Um, you're always best. My opinion is is to check with customer service. They quite often have a lot of the information you need or know who to guide you to. Um, you can certainly contact the training department directly. Again, that's what now is we're training and we have great people in tra training like Chris. We have, of course, the boss of training, which is Terrence, but all of the regional managers, that's what we do. We work with training as well. So you're welcome to call your regional manager in your area, which you can look up on the internet on the website. Now website, it'll tell you that. And it'll say, who's your contact in your area. Uh, if, you, if you're not sure, contact me and I'll point in the right direction or help you where I can. Manage and certify students. I did a whole seminar on that, so I'm not going to go into great detail on it, but it's there for you uh, if you want to look up the one that I just mentioned a few minutes ago. To uh, manage and certify students, you need to enroll them in a course first. If they, In order to do any of this, they have to start with their own account, so review how to set up that on that other session that I did. And then uh, once they have an account, you can set up their e-learning or certify them or put them in as a student on a non-coded course, meaning it's not an NES. Again, with now we have the uh, freedom to educate the student in the best way that works for the student. Um, that, that academic freedom is unique only to NAWI. So you have the options, meaning a lot of us are using digital learning because there's a lot of benefit to it. And we, my personal way is I combine digital learning and I reduced some of my lectures, but not all of them. So I do a combination of both. But again, that's a personal preference. Any of my students, I can pull them up here. I've uh, asked, uh, he's actually one of our participants today, Ryan Bickers. I can look at Ryan in my students and I can pull him up. He has no open courses. So I would look under up here, there's all courses. You can have people under 
So I can look up my course. I can look up whether it's somebody who's currently enrolled, they're already certified, or just every student I've ever taught. So you can look up in different areas. Um, for those of us that work with more than one dive center, I can call it up by different dive centers and narrow it in whichever way it works best for you. Once you're in any particular student, uh, I've, I've asked Brett and he said, it's okay, I can open up his account. I can look at Brett. Brett's working on his advance. He did the theory over the winter and uh, we're gonna get him in the water as soon as the COVID uh, restrictions are lifted. And, and his course, you can see where he's at. There's his handsome mug, a little bit of information about him. He uh, did first aid. He is working on his advance. He's an open water scuba diver with Nawi. Here's all those information. So I can manage that student on an ongoing basis, not just a one for every time it's a new course, it starts all over. It's you keep adding to it. It's a one time. You can change their address. He can change his address. You can change his photo. He can change his photo. But the track record of all the courses is here permanently. I highly recommend when you're setting up any student to do it through here because it tracks and again we live in an era if it's not on paper it didn't happen liability so we make sure that, that everything is there now he has a track for us that everything's on the computer so it's technically on paper we hit print and there it is so especially if you're doing the e-learning it's even more so there i can prove beyond any doubt that now he did his certification pre-course so he does have e-learning on the old system on the uh, legacy setup but for instance on his basic first date i could open up his account right here and notice it says 95 percent completed that's just the way core does it. it doesn't say 100 even though it's 95 he's finished it he's certified he's got his card i can look into the e-learning part and you know that he's done all the, the units i could open up one unit two units i can look and see what he did how many times he went through any particular chapter so it there's a lot of information there and it covers you as an instructor that they did all the necessary requirements for the course as per our standards and the standards of the world agencies. That's very important. Having said that, we can move down. I'm just gonna move on again because we did do quite a bit of work on managing and certifying students on the other particular workshop we did. Again, you can look at that at your own benefit. Membership, that's your membership for you personally. What's your status? What are you doing? And here it is, there's that picture. It's fairly similar to when we looked under my profile up top and says who you are, what designations you have, when you renewed, when you're gonna renew next time, am I insured individually or, you know, all those things, all your necessary information. So you should check it, make sure it's all accurate. And uh, then notice the tools here, there's all kinds of things you can do off to the side. If you're working together as an independent instructor only, some of these may not apply, but most do. If you're working together with other independent instructors or you're working with an affiliate, be it the affiliates, a club, store, charter boat, whatever, make sure you connect to those people you work with. Um, the reason being is when we're tag teaming on a class, I'm teaching part, you're teaching part, we both have access to the same student and can add things. Yes, they did this. No, they didn't do that. Um, very important to connect. So make a point of doing so and again, this is up at the top if you went under your profile, but it's also right here. You can manage affil affiliates right on this button right here, right? So that's very important. You can manage your authorized courses. You can also do that here. One of the things, if you're not managing them and you just wanna see what you're doing, the authorized course button is fabulous. This, I, I am so proud of now on this particular topic. Uh, as a dive master, you may not see everything that an instructor sees, but um, I'm going to go with the role that you can see all of these. If you can't, then please let me know and we can work with you. Um, the beauty of this, these are the courses authorized to teach. These are ones available. I have 48 courses I teach and there's 108 that I don't teach. Okay. But any of these ones at any time, you could download the course details powerpoints presentations e-learning videos all the rest of it and see all the most current right now now there's a bit of a difference again whether you are authorized to teach a course and whether you have the codes to do it that's a different conversation again talk to your nowy rep and your regional manager will help straighten you on that one but um 
you need to have the licensing to certify people, but everybody that's a, a professional diver for NAWI has the ability to see all these courses all the time. And if you do buy a license to be able to, to certify somebody in a course, it's a one-time lifetime license. That's right, one-time lifetime lesson. That's pretty, pretty awesome, very awesome. Uh, I remember before you, when you used to have to buy something a few years later, oh, this new version, you had to buy it again, buy it again, buy it again. It's like, well, I hope I taught enough courses to get my money back. Well, now, once you bought your license, you bought your license, the most current version of all the teaching material are always right here. Now, here's even better news. You're a dive master or you're an instructor who's not qualified to teach something. Um, for instance, I'm teaching, if I was teaching cave diving or technical diving. You may go, I'm not a technical diver instructor, but I'd like to know how you teach technical divers, and I, I am a technical diver already. Or it could be, I'm working on an advanced course, and you'd like to assist me teaching advanced course as a dive master or instructor. Well, you can pull up all this information and see what's going on. It's a great path of growth for the early stages of dive professionals to move towards more stages. It's not prohibitive. It's like they're standing there, don't know what I'm teaching. No, you know exactly what I'm teaching. When you open up this, the whole thing is there. Again, um, I will be in the coming month putting up a session that's about how now we IGs work. The if you're familiar with that, and you know if you're not, you can gain it then or contact me in the meantime. But each one of these is a full set of a now IG per course. That's spectacular as far as having people help you. We're all on the same page really really a big thing that i think the tra training department has done a spectacular job on us with um authorized versus unauthorized means you are allowed to teach it versus not that has nothing to do with whether you have bought the license that is a second item okay purchase insurance I'm going to skip the sources blog for a moment because I'm going to come back to that one. Uh, purchase insurance is really only a tab that's working in the United States at this particular time. We've just undertaken, I was part of the project to uh, put a deal together for worldwide, except for the United States, to have Dive Assure represent us uh, and provide insurance policies. Um, you're not forced to go with them, absolutely not. That's not the NAWI way, but uh, there will be a link from here in the near future. At this point in time, Contact me if you need more information about Dive Insure or contact Dive Insure or your regional manager or NAWI customer service. They're so awesome to help. Going back up to the sources blog, sources run by Peter. He just does a great job of it. Um, traditionally, we had the magazine. Uh, more and more people want to read things on tablets, co phones, computers, laptops, all that nowadays. So the sources blog is a growth into that blog from the traditional magazine that a lot of you may or may not be aware of. So Peter puts a lot of information there. It's always worth reading. Click on it, go into it, see what the latest news is. And he does a great job of, of keeping us up to date of what's going on out there. As long as you let him know, he'll get it on there. If you're an a NAWI professional, you want to get, go ahead and make sure that Peter knows what's going on in your area and he will absolutely include it. I do all the time and he just I'm just so thrilled with everything he does. So it's right in there. You can go through there on your own and look here. Um, it, he's really got a nice setup where you can go through and find out what's going on. So just a quick scroll through, you'll see what I'm talking about, right? So by all means, do so. Anyway, reading that on your own, the, you may also or definitely would also want to go into the member resources area. The member resources area is exactly what it sounds like. There's all kinds of things that training, marketing, all kinds of different departments that now I'm just using the two off the top of my head we'll put in there. There's forms. Gee, what's the current form for medicals? There it is. What's the current form for somebody under 18 or under 15, depending on your area? There it is. All the forms are there. There's past issues of our magazines there. There's different uh, releases from the board of directors there. You just got to go there and you can just read it. And it's just, there's just lots of wonderful information you can look at. 
So uh, you definitely want to look into that one. I'm just opening it up. I happen to open up the standards and procedures, okay? So I'm going back to the, uh, there's just a lot of things you can go into. I'm not gonna go in, you could spend the whole, never mind session, a couple of sessions trying to get through that. There's just so much good information in there. Um, it sub submitted incident report. As you know, as a NAWI professional, if there's an accident or incident, we need to report it to the NAWI legal department directly. That is an outside legal firm. The reason you report to them directly, again, for the whole story, talk to your instructor trainer. They would know. Uh, course director definitely would know. Um, but if you're a dive master or instructor designation, it's part of the course where you learn that. The incident should always be sent to your legal department because there's certain requirements that we would have to make as a NAWI the, uh, the, the body of NAWI is the administrative of NAWI that the legal department has shelters that we don't because it's a law firm. You have that client look privilege with the lawyers without going into a lot of detail. If there's an incident, you want to actually click on that button. There's the form, fill it out. It goes direct to them and only direct to them and off you go. Okay. So it says legal at NAWI.org, but it actually goes to a legal firm that represents us and we'll, and that's what you want. It protects you, it protects everybody. So that's the bottom of the list as you see. It's a, a fast version of gone through everything, but I've done a few of the different highlights of this over the last few weeks and have a couple coming and I thought in the middle would be a good time um, to sort of start putting the whole core together. If you have questions, comments, shouts of excitement, please contact me. It's Bill Doran. My email is bdoran at nawi.org. I'm here to answer your questions. Of course, you can always contact customer service as well. We're here to help. Thank you. We'll see you next time.